Farming runs deep in Northern Ireland. Many families have tended the land they look after for generations. And today, these custodians of the countryside recognise the need to look after animals, pastures and wildlife in a way that will reduce the burden on our planet. They are not alone. Two of Northern Ireland's leading agri-companies have come together to help farmers improve the environment while making a living from cattle production, farming sustainably. Horizon is the first collaboration of its kind in Northern Ireland. It provides a guaranteed market for selectively bred dairy calves from Dale Farm members through the ABP supply chain. The Horizon system promotes breeding animals more efficiently, making them better at converting feed to protein so they reach their target weight at an earlier stage and reduce their carbon footprint. Research from ABP's demonstration farms in the UK and the Republic indicate that this breeding approach can reduce methane emissions by up to 40%, a win for the environment. And because the animal can be sold at a younger age, farmers' returns could improve by £100 a head. This demonstrates that environmental and economic sustainability can travel hand in hand. Dairy farmers have been quick to get on board, like the Alcorn Partnership here in Oma. Barbara, why were you attracted to the Horizon Scheme? I suppose it's the main welfare of our calves. We rear them to about three weeks old and we don't like to take them to the market if we can get away with it. Um, it's a farm to farm transfer um, and it's in a partnership with Dale Farm and ABP. After three to four weeks on their birth farm, the calves are moved to specialist rearing units like this one in Straban, under the watchful eye of Rachel Key. What's your first priority then when the calves arrive? Well, when they come in, we give them a health check just to make sure everything's okay. They then get weighed and tagged to be registered on the automatic feeder. And after that, we keep them in the same batches that they come in in to cause less stress on them and then they just go into their clean straw bed where they have meal and fresh water available all the time. Clearly then, animal welfare is paramount. Do you work closely with your local vet? Yes, we're always in touch with the vet about vaccinations and stuff just to keep up to date with everything. And record keeping, vital because this is a new project. We keep the records of their weights. Once they come in, they get weighed and then when we're weaning them, we weigh them again and we record all the milk powder used in the meal. Dale Farm members have embraced the partnership between their processor and ABP. What do you think might be the potential of the scheme long term? To, to add value to members, to members' calves, to get our members to look holistically at the breeding of their herds um, and identify cows within their herds that they could breed to beef animals and, and use superior beef genetics so that they could uh, get a higher return for, for their calves going off the farm. Was the environment a driving factor? I suppose nowadays the environment um, is a driving factor. There's a number of environmental benefits in this scheme. Um, the calves that are coming off Dale Farm, producers' farms are bred from select sires. Those sires are bred for improved growth rate and, and, and carcass. Um, and if those animals can perform well at farm level, then they're going to be more efficient. And if you're more efficient, well, it's more profit for the farm, but it also cuts your, your greenhouse gas emissions. So, so that's, that's a benefit for the environment. Horizon uses the science and research learnings from ABP's demonstration farms in Ireland and the UK. Over 4,000 animals have been involved in the study so far. So what about the data? Are you excited about it? Yeah, we're very happy with it so far. On our rearing and finishing farms, any targets that we've set for daily livelihood gain so far have been met. On our rearing farms, calves will be averaging over a kilo of daily livelihood gain a day. And then going further back onto our research and development farms, both in the UK and Ireland, we can take the data from there and roll it out on a real farm situation. What about farmers? What are they saying to you? Yeah, the feedback's been very positive so far. I suppose repeat customers being the, the main part of that. The calves seem to be do, ticking their boxes for ease of management and that side of things and also the drive to reduce carbon emissions and get them away at a younger finishing age. There seems to be a real momentum behind the scheme now. What do you see as the potential impact for the environment, farmers and the economy? Yeah, there's impacts right across the industry and hopefully more finishers coming on board along with our repeat customers that we already have and their aim as always is to drive down the finishing aid and reduce carbon emissions for the agri-food sector in Northern Ireland. And then this will show that 
productivity and economic viability can go hand in hand with the environment. This farm in Dromore received calves in the middle of last year. Conor O'Neill has the job of finishing them. So Conor, are you happy with the calves you've received this year? Yeah, happy so far. Um, come in great condition. Come from a local farm too, so it makes it better. Great that they didn't have to travel too far then. And, and we're standing in a field of amazing grass. That's what Northern Ireland does best, grow super grass. How do you get the maximum benefit from it? Well, on our farm here, we work a rotational grazing system. Um, as you say, grass is our key provider here and we like to utilize it as much as possible. So what happens? Well, we work a three-day rotational grazing here and um, as paddocks move on through the year and they get stronger, we like to take them out and make good quality silage as we can. How do you judge live weight gain when they're at grass? Well, prior to turnout, um, we like to weigh them before moving the grass. And as the weeks goes on, we like to uh, monitor it again and see where we are gaining. What's the benefit then of reaching finishing stage earlier? We like to get our Aberdeen Angus heifers in around 300 kilos and our steers in around 325 at 21 months. What's the benefit to the environment of doing it that way? I suppose it's, it's great for the carbon footprint and keeping methane levels all down, so it's, it's really good. Like it's, you're, you're obviously turning around and getting more cattle on board again and you're put to move things on better. You sound optimistic. Oh my, it's, it's working well so far, so I, I'm very confident on it, very happy with it. The Horizon Scheme is providing a blueprint for beef production now and into the future, providing benefits for the producers and the planet.